Greetings adventurers and welcome back to this one shot which is turning out to be anything but. We were apparently supposed to have gotten as far as we did in this session in the previous session and of course that all didn't work out so uh, this is how far we've gotten this time and it's not even the end of it yet. There's going to be at least one more session with this particular group of characters. So uh, yeah, it's good news if you've been enjoying it, but um, I'm sure the DM thought it would be going rather quicker than it has been. But still, it's been quite fun. I've got two very brief notes to give for this session. Uh, the first is that I have once again split it up into two parts, so it's not quite as unwieldy. And the second is that I actually missed the first hour. <laughs> because I got the time muddled up. It wasn't any terribly complicated reason, it was me just uh, thinking that it was an hour later than it was. So, um, hence my somewhat unusual introduction to the uh, the, the session this week, because uh, last time round I went to sleep in a bar, cradling my newfound, uh, what was it, uh, a little cask that basically gives me infinite beer, which Ubrook was very happy with. This time round, however, Ubrook is going to wake up distinctly unhappy, tied to a tree and wondering what the hell is going on. So, without any further ado, I will let you get into the action. Right, somebody catch me up. Uh, we left the mansion, uh, we travelled through, uh, we are travelling through the canyon, uh, we found some tracks, now we were well, I got almost shot by something, don't know yet. Uh, went in, in the deck cover, uh, found you tied to a tree. Okay, I, I must have had quite a party last night. Mm -hmm. Well, so much that you turned into Goliath, or so we thought. Oh, yeah, we have a Goliath with us now. Oh, okay. Well, he's not really a Goliath. He's a tiny Goliath. <laughs> Just compared to you. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Uber, there's, there's you like find yourself one member of this party that's a reasonable height. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, it depends from your point of view, after all. True. Anyway, yes. Yeah, sorry about that. I could have sworn it was seven p.m. by time, but now I come to think of it, that's actually Philbo's campaign, not this one. That's true. So that's my excuse. Terrible though it is. That's an excuse, nevertheless. Ubruk, you okay? So yeah, Ubruk, you find yourself tied to that tree, and also at the moment gagged, and... <laughs> yeah. He's okay, guys! You, you, you see him shaking, trying to get loose, and shaking his head violently. <laughs> but shaking, okay. I think that's Ubruk's, Ubruk's break for I'm okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, as you guys get closer, or Turin, as you get closer, um, another smell hits your, hits your nostrils. It does smell reptilian. And... Wait a second. Yeah. And suddenly you see four kobolds Riding cold world riding drakes appear out from the tree line, and I would like to have everybody roll initiative. Oh wait, I need to put up the tracker. Uh, 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 oh shit, sorry. The, the, no, don't worry. Is it uh, cleared? Are we okay to roll? Wait a second. Okay, feel free to roll now. Ah, there you go. Do you want me to roll again because I didn't have my uh, token select? Uh, yeah, roll again. Is it that initiative for them? Yep. 
Yeah, we go. <laughs> well, <laughs> almost uh, as good as mine. Yeah, but you notice them early enough, and for the others, uh, you're not surprised by them showing up, because shortly before they appear, more the ringing of a bell kind of sounds in your mind. Or listening to it twice, it might be the ring of a guitar. You haven't had this before. Oh well, Geralt, you have this constantly. And it's warning you of any danger coming. But the others, you're quite surprised. <laughs> but not by the enemies. So yeah, turn, your turn. Concentration, Ubruk, Titan Gact at the tree. Lots of kobolds on drag drakes. And something in distance. It's, you still can't quite discern what it is. Um, so, if I would go and undie Uprug, that would be my whole action, I guess. How, um, just as a point of information, how secure are these bonds? Is it, would it be theoretically possible to do a strength check to break free? Yes, That's you. It would definitely be possible. Okay. You have been working them quite a while. I mean, you you did sleep a long time, but uh, since you woke up, you have been trying to okay. get rid of them. It's probably and not he... the first time in his life that Ubrook's woken up tied to a tree, not remembering how he got there. <laughs> so, uh, these... Uh, these... Uh, can I uh, see the, the Drake all the way here as well? The one up to the north? Yeah. Yes, but it's hidden behind the tree, together with the person riding it. So right. it will do have cover. Uh, which one of these uh, tracks were the stronger ones? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, you quite examined them quite a lot. Yeah. Um, the ones that have the red okay. coloring are, in general, the stronger ones. Well, I would like to take my uh, the the ones that are closer to me. Are they are any of them in cover? They can look from me. Yeah, the one over here. Ah, oh, sorry, one over here with the two trees between you. That one is in cover. The others, you can shoot. Okay, I would like to uh, start by uh, putting a uh, hunter's mark on this one. All right, and then I'll take my first shot with a sharpshooter and with advantage since they haven't acted yet. Eighteen—that's it. And hunter's mark damage. Only seven. Holy shit. That one definitely looks hurt. It rears up as the arrow hits it in its shoulder, you would technically guess. Hmm. Ah, still alive. Another shot. Yeah, it does hit, and this time as it hits, it lets out a shriek and crumbles to the ground and the kobold riding it is thrown off to the ground fumbling a little bit but seemingly not taking damage from it all right i'll uh aim for the next uh, riding drake oh. and uh this one is the one that i get from this thing so i get a uh, 1d8 extra on it all right uh, and also sharpshooter. Uh, oh, I don't have. I need to gas it up for this yet. One D A. Oh, it wasn't one D A that I get to. X yeah, yeah. One. Another one hit at the same spot in the show that is the other one. Ah, still not dead. Action, it's quite hurt. 
I would like to get my action switch. All right. And uh, shoot at it again. Just what you needed. Really? The second arrow finishes it off. Go will tumbling to the other side this time. You can see them quite shocked that you dismantled their riding brakes that easily. Right, uh, next one, the one in uh, the one uh, riding Drake northest, one that is not in cover, and the uh, logo. And go. All right, this is, seems to be a hefty hit. You're starting to get really used to hitting those. And one more. This one is the uh, special one from Dread Ambusher again. Just in case. The rest of us are not going to need to do anything at this rate. <laughs> I'm just uh, killing the riding drake so they don't get too close. Right, the third one down before they even could make a move. And like, uh, I, <laughs> I shout, Ubrook, I draft you. And <laughs> run <out> of the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> He would have given you and, a thumbs up if he could. I, I, I look to uh, Corolla and I'm like, right, you're done. Right, next up is the last of the Drakes. <laughs> um, looking around, seeing everybody fall. And starts to run away. Or at least stops by to take a a second of the kobolds and then a little bit slower than beforehand makes its way back the end of its turn yeah it's you you've seen turin just lose an arrow after arrow after arrow and as you thought he was done he took a deep breath and loosened another few and as a result there are three dead drakes lying on the ground okay uh, how far is this cobalt riding track away for me? 130 feet. Okay, then I'll move up a bit. Uh, pick up like my guitar, pick up that ringing sound, uh, play a little solo and swing the guitar to unleash a fireball. So at level two, the direction. Oh, a fireball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so no. It sounds... <laughs> Does the song oh. happen to sound like goodness gracious great balls of fire? So it's basically going to angle the cobalt running drake one of the commandos and the the whole fucking tree line. Not well, the and trees. To, and not two of the commanders that are on the dragon. Sorry. What about the two commanders who are on the dragon? Yeah, those as well. Okay, just making sure. Don't worry, they they they'll be crisp at the end of this probably. Let's see safes. I just realized uh, a part that has a wall of fire and makes a ring out of it. I'm seeing a <laughs> ring of fire. <laughs> okay, well the kobolds make it. At least one. That one doesn't have enough HP. So one falls to the ground. Blackened. By the blast. The other one barely holds on. While the riding grade takes most of the brunt of it. Oh fuck. I always do the math already and then I put. <laughs> Stupid. There we go. Still alive, still badly burned, and this one has enough HP actually.
Yeah, the, the trees are slightly charred now. No. <laughs> but luckily enough, uh, it has been raining a lot lately, so they're not combusting right away. Oh look! It's, oh well, okay, that's it. Uh, and I give uh, to an uh, inspiration, but I fucking phone calling and stuff. Okay. I'm I'm impressed by his mood asking. Oh, look, oh, your turn. Oh, Brooke would like to try and break free of his of his, uh, of his uh, bonds. Okay, let's make a strength check. You try and try and try, and since you're already weakened, then they snap. Hooray! And you're free. Okay. So few movement left. Uh... Right, uh, I am going to rage. <laughs> Alright. I'm tired and cranky, and my back hurts, and I've been tied to a tree for god knows how long. And uh, I'm going to run up to this first kobold. I am going to. Uh, it'll be action surge, won't it? Uh, if you, yes. I'm guessing breaking free is counted as an action. Yes, action surge it would be. And uh, were they nice enough to leave me my axes, or am I going to do this? I have to do this barehanded. No, they left them to you. Okay. They just tied you to the tree because you were passed out as they found you. Right. I tried to see how much beer I could get out of the little cask, clearly. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so it's just going to be... Uh... <coughs> It'll be that one. Yes. <laughs> 28. Yes, that's it. So, with all your fury, Flash has small kobold, but he still keeps standing. Okay. This one seems to be from different material. Take my second attack. Does it? Yeah, but you're far from done, and with the other hand comes to swing around and clearly splits him in half, fluttering him all over the place. Okay, and I think I've got 10 feet left. In fact, no, it'll be more than... I've got 40 feet, so that's fine. I can actually run right up to that other kobold. So I'm going to charge and trample the corpse of that, uh, that drake, and then I'm going to make my offhand attack. Just thrown from his drake, trying to find his bearings on the ground. Suddenly, huge bugbear looms over him. 19 hits. Yeah. And you execute the kobold lying there, completely helpless. <laughs> they definitely tied up the wrong bugbear. Yep. He's a little bit annoyed. And I believe that would be my turn. I don't think there's anything else. Right. King Drake's turn. So, reaching from above you, you do hear as three noble hunting drakes climb down the cliffside. But it's still a good distance away. You see them clinging to the cliff wall, and they're currently halfway down. Um, the one. That's carrying someone that you didn't really see at the moment is making a dash um, down the uh, down the canyon away from the guy with the bow that just executed the others so swiftly. I was run away from the phone. <laughs> it's the end of their turn. Um, 
Next is the Cobalt Commando that's still left. Uh, it sees Ubruk slaughtering his brethren and it's gonna loosen his crossbills crossbow at him. <laughs> uh, 9 to 21. Uh, 21 does hit. Okay, that's 11 piercing damage halved, so 5 damage to you. As the first bolt hits the tree trunk next to you, and the other one slightly scratches you. It's not even a big deal. And that's it for the kobolds, since there are not many left. Gothic, your turn. Um, I'd like to just run up my maximum range. And, uh, just say, so, come back! I want to kill you! And then I'll be there my turn. You can dash as well if you want to. Oh, great, yeah, I'll dash then. But yeah, that'd be the end of my turn. Hey, okay, well, it's your turn. I will also move forward. And I'll cast... Um, Come to animals. To summon... Let me just check the distance where I can summon them. 60 feet. 60. But... Yeah, I'll summon four... Um, and wasps there? God, this is not, not snakes. That's <laughs> about to say. <laughs> you hear buzzing coming out of the tops of the trees, and... Four giant wasps that you realize. And I'll shout at them. Go get them. Uh, do I need, also need to roll initiative for the wasps? Oh, uh, yes. Do they, do they buzz in a kind of... Like, do they buzz with a German accent? Very, <laughs> very German accent. So, isn't it the wasp's turn next? Yeah, wait a second. Yeah, it, the wasps are up. Oh, tactical. Exactly, te te tactical roll. Um, let's see if they can actually catch, catch the guy. Yes, they can. So the wasp will bust towards the um like this towards the, the the drake and they'll the two that are next to it will start um singing the drake all right does that skill basically make your pokemon trainer you can kind of just make animals appear and have them attack people <laughs> oh exactly Okay, uh, both hits, so 13 and 10. And they both then need to make, make a constitution th uh, saving throw? Uh, they would have, but they are clearly dead now by now. <laughs> One giant boss swoops in and catches the riding kobold, and the other one pierces the dragon's scales. And it gives a last twitch. And then also stops moving. Okay, that's the end of the wasp's turn. Yes, it is. Clearly, they're very useful and very good at commanding uh, tank companies and stuff like that. Uh, uh, that's additional knowledge you would have because you <laughs> spent so much time around them. By the way, the description of their attack is a bit uh, incomplete. It says, uh, must make a DC on a failed save. Yeah, I don't know. This is. This 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 the stuff Bosby gave me, which is probably just for Mod Twenty itself. They have to make in Constitution saving throw, otherwise they are poisoned. Yeah. What do you see? Uh, wait, 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 eleven. Okay, that's the end of the Wasp's turn. 
why it's buzzing nicely. And on the distance. Do you hear another crack, uh, cracking sound echo through the canyon, and you see one of the wasps getting hit, also again by some sort of projectile, and that was over there. Wait, can I actually do it? Yeah, perfect. It's looking worse for wear now. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, turn, your turn. Currently, only thing you see are the three cobalt hunting drakes climbing down the cliffside. I couldn't see uh, a what shot this time. Uh, no. Okay. It's it's coming from even further now. Seems like the hunting drake used uh, all his his movement to get away from you. Okay, so it's from that hunting drake. Okay. That helps. Uh, I... I mean... Oh, so they, did they went behind cover then, for me? Uh, they went around a bend in the canyon that I currently... Okay. Then I'll just shoot the... Which are is furthest from the uh, hunting tricks? That they are coming down. Which one is furthest? Yeah. Okay. I presume they are still within uh, 600 feet. Yes, they are. Yeah. Then uh, the one with this that is furthest. Okay. And... <sighs> yeah, sharpshooter. And I presume it doesn't dodge all day. Uh... Oh. Actually, between... between these, I'll put the hunter's mark on it. All right. How? I'll just make sure that. Uh, is it. Well, I guess it's more than 90 feet away. Yes, it is. It's 100 feet up the cliffside alone. Yeah, then I cannot uh, put a hunter's mark on it. Because it's 90 feet. Uh, I'll just shoot another one with a uh, uh, sharpshooter. It's again. This one is looking. Worse for wear, already slipping a little bit while climbing down. Are they coming from both sides? No, they're coming all from the same side. Which one is that? Left or right, from my perspective? Uh, right. Right, okay. Then I'll move roughly back where I was before. And my turn. Okay. I'll just okay. shout, more coming from the right! Yo, oh, that's your turn. Okay, uh, since it is within 100, uh, 120 feet, I just send a firebolt. Well, and... suppress a fire. <laughs> Literally. Well, you do hit the cliffside and it explodes in a really shiny ball of fire. But... Shush! Go away! They seem unimpressed as they press on. Yeah. Well, I love my turn. Uh, do you mind if I put a marker on my token so I remember that I have inspiration? No, keep it. I'll do it. Hey, Ubrook, your turn. Can I see any of these things? Oh, uh, yes, they're climbing down the, the cliffside, and you estimate they would end up when they reach the canyon's floor, roughly at the same um, same area the giant wasps are in now. Oh, it's on that side, okay. It's on that side, yeah. Uh, let me just check something. Okay, I am going to... Oh, I'm just going to move over there. In preparation, and so my rage doesn't drop, I am going to throw a javelin at whichever one is closest. <laughs> okay, how much maximum range does it have? Uh... 
120 feet. Yeah, okay. I thought they were coming from the from the right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, so if I moved the wrong side. I thought you said when the wasps... They will roughly end up there. Okay, so in which case I want to be like there instead. I misunderstood. Uh, anyway, right, so... Uh, I have four javelins total, so I think it's just this one for a throw. Oh, wait, that's 14 actually. No. 14 does it. So okay. you throw it and the dragon leaps to the side a little bit, evading it. Just just out of interest, do I see where it lands? If I wanted to retrieve it after the game, uh, after the <laughs> battle. Yes, so you, okay. you see it dropping down and it should be somewhere in the close vicinity. All right. Okay, well, having attacked, my rage does not drop, and that was the main purpose of... So, that's my turn. All right. So, on their turn, they're going to climb down completely all the way from the canyon wards. Here we go. And dropping down in front of you, Brooke, mostly. Hooray! <laughs> well... Snarling and ready to bite. But that's the end of day two. So, topic. Three newcomers. <laughs> oh, poor Kai. Uh, I'll try and run in their direction. And, uh, yeah, I'll run, I'll run in their direction and, uh, dash as well, I think. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll shout, come at me, bro. And that'll be then my turn. I'll send you up. I will continue to move forwards. Over here. And I will... Yeah, tell my wasps to take the, the dragons. And that's the end of my turn. All wasps are ready to go. Yeah, the wasps decide that uh, no cap kill all. So they start swarming the... Dragons. Very un waspish behavior. Yeah, but. And they'll start um, singing the. Those dragons. Ah, it's constitution safe, right? Yep. Okay, they make it. And then they only take the piercing damage if it hits. Let's see, 14, 7, 15, the 18 one does hit. So the bottom one takes 6 piercing damage. Okay, mm, that's the end of that turn, as they buzz angrily. Yeah, they do take a valiant effort, but they do flip off the thick scales of the dragon. Turin, your turn. Uh, how far is the bend behind which the... Other enemies hiding. Uh, from your place, 160 feet roughly. Okay. Uh, with my data feet of movement, how would I? Where should I go? Uh, so I would have a, a clear shot at the bend. Yeah. Not sure, but you think maybe. Maybe around here-ish, you could make it. But that's more than uh, 30 feet. I, I don't see where you're bringing. No? It's uh, next to Gothic, roughly. Oh, that far? Yeah, that far. Ah, well, damn it. Then I'll just move up 
Uh, there. And uh, I should uh, know the most hunting trick with a sharpshooter. That's it. Another arrow sinks in. The hunting drake momentarily distracted by the buzzing. How hurt is it? No, it doesn't seem too hurt right now. Another one. The next one. He turns away from the wasps looking your direction, but it looks hurt now. Yeah. And because I forgot Hunter's mark on it now. <laughs> Alright. There we go. End of my turn, because I've done everything I can. Yeah, well, you see everybody running forward. Oh, God damn it, that's far. A brook just roars and goes for it. Oh, it curls stone. Nice, but it's not your turn yet. Oh, is it? Oops. For some reason, the contrast on my second monitor is terrible. Bit eager there, are we? Believe we can move over there. Uh, like I, he just lazily walks up, starts spinning a firebolt around his hand, and when he reaches his destination, he lets us loose to the uh, closest dragon. All right. Where did my character sweet go there? That's it. The electrolyzed firebolt has it impacts. It does char the scales a little bit, but it seems like the arrows did hurt it a lot more. Doesn't matter, I have fireballs. End of my turn. They're flashy, they're shiny. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> now it's your turn. So, 16 does hit. If you want, you can just roll damage on that one. Okay. 14, that's you. Flash your way into the dragon, but. There's still more. 14 will not stop it. 15? Doesn't hit. So. Okay, and my Glance off. third and final. 20 does hit. 20 does hit. I'm going to guess. It's slash the damage. That's what, 22 points in total? That's not bad. That's it? Yep, that's my turn. Right, Drake's turn. And yeah, um, the one to the north is going to second. Here we go. Uh, claw and bite at the giant wasp above it, which definitely tears it to shreds. And second attack, going for the other one. Oh yeah, sorry, it's terrible if I see the AC, actually. I'm just doing everything. No, no, this, 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 this is easy for me. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the second one goes down as well, and the drake starts making... Oops. It's elongating for some reason, and uh, starting its way over to Gothic, taking on some bigger opponents than those puny wasps. Attacks of opportunity. Yeah. True. The wasp can take an attack of opportunity. Van Oberg. Van Oberg. Oh yeah, true. Okay. So if you want, feel free. They're both wasps then? Yeah. This would just be one attack, right? Yes. Yeah. 16 and 19. 15 so, is not great. No, if you do glance off, but the two wasps thing it. Oh, nice to safe again. Okay. Oh, okay. So seven piercing damage in total. All right, and the last remaining one is gonna attack nine wasps. 
this time only managing to take down one, the other one's still alive and happily buzzing. And then the one in front of Ubruk is also gonna claw and bite. The 20 and 21. Both hit. Okay, so 22 in total, 11. 11 piercing damage. Batches and claws at your height. So that's gonna be for minus 5 again. Uh, no, 11 I already. Oh, 11 is, is the half. Okay. Yeah. Those, those guys are strong, actually. If they get to do something and not get shot down. So, Gothic, your turn. One of them challenged you. Did he uh, do any damage? Sorry, I wasn't listening. No, he just uh, he finished off the giant wasps and then pounced your way. <sighs> okay, I'd like to draw my Nether Chai and uh, attack. 25 hits. That's a brutal hit. Um, in the side. It's still standing for now, but it looks really, really just hanging on my thread. Is it two attacks I have, yeah? You should yeah. have multi-attack, yes. Two attacks, not multi-attack. Just two attacks. Then I'd like to uh, swing again. And, uh... A 14 doesn't hit. At this time it ducks just below it. Uh, then... Uh... Then, uh, that'd probably be the end of my turn. Alright, it's clinging on to... Liver of life, but it's not much anymore. It was... Just about to finish him off. Lossian, your turn. One was black. Um, it's... There can only be one. <laughs> I'll move to here. I know, they're best in swarms. <laughs> and then I'll cast... Um, ice Knife on that Drake. I shoot. Fifteen doesn't hit. Right, then that's the end of my turn. Oh, was will continue to uh, sting. And also miss. Ah, those those drakes are getting getting the hang of how to fight you. They start evading. At least. The closer attacks, and uh, it's Turin's turn. A normal attack on the one with the hunter's mark. Nineteen does hit, as you drop it to the ground. Hunter's mark damage. Feeling another kill. That's what I do. I'll move before. Uh... I don't know who's that? Yeah, that's the defeat. And then I'll put a hunter's mark on uh, the one next to the wasp. My bonus action. And shoot a bit sharp shooter. Can I bees? Yeah, you do miss. For the first mm. time today, one of your arrows doesn't hit its target. You still have. Uh, uh, Inspiration, oh, don't you? Oh, oh yeah, I have inspiration, which I would like to use. Thank you for reminding. With 1d6, I, I believe. Help. 1d6, right? Yeah, sync. Yeah. No, still does not. Still doesn't hit. No! The buzzing wings of the wasp just, you can't aim properly. <laughs> uh, that's end of my turn. Right. Killed as you just watched one of Turin's arrows miss. And um, boss for getting on the way. Yeah. Guys, you could wait for me. Oh, thanks for the bush. <laughs> 
Can push. Hmm? Never mind. Well, some lot of tank stuff. No, that one. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Can't help it. I was thinking about it as well. Um. Ah, oh, screw that. Let's make do something fun. Uh, scotching way. Right. Uh, do I know how damaged they are, mostly? Um, like, the, how they're looking? The one next to the giant wasp looks pretty, pretty hurt, and the other one looks some, but still pretty healthy. Okay, two, f two ways for the one next to the wasp and one for the other one. Right. Once I find the forgot spell. Oh, no, they are at not advantage or anything. So, 9, 15, and 22. Hey, it's First 22 two for the... Wow. So, the one next to the book. No damage, yay. Yeah, also, it seems like the buzzing of the wasp is getting into your aim as well. This is this is not easy to hit. Damn it, Lojin! What? <laughs> Always dead I'll, animals. I'll just summon snakes then next time. Fine. I don't want to summon them away. End of my turn. Oh, Ubruk. Okay, just the usual three attacks, I think. Nothing fancy. So that's a miss. <laughs> that's a miss. Oh. Ah, that one hits. <laughs> yeah. Stupid one. Rage just slice there to pieces. The last one hits, and it's 40 damage to Drake, which looks good by now. Okay, um, I'm actually... No, actually, no, I'm not going to do anything. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. The Drake's turn. Um, one is going to get rid of the wasp in his face. Oh, or at least attempting to. But it clicks on by a sliver. And seeing that his friend is gonna get hit and get hit by Uruk over and over and over, he's gonna try to help him out. Um, the giant wasp is gonna get an attack of opportunity. And getting scratched up that way, it tries to retaliate, but just stinks into midair. That not hurting the drake at all. And the other drake gonna take his attack at Ubruk with advantage this time. So that would be 24 and 22 to hit. Both hit. No, no, no. So it's gonna be 10 damage in total. It's already halved. Okay. They scratch and claw at you, but in your rage, you can take it easily. No problem. Gopek, your turn. Dragons seem to be flanking Ubruk and scratching and clawing at him from all sides. Uh, then I'd like to run up to the one on the left and attack. Right, you take a swing and it does it. Damage. As you hear something crack inside the drake's body, but it's still still standing somehow. I'd uh, like to slash again. Fifteen doesn't it? As it barely misses him. I'm just yelling, "Die, die!" At this point, and yeah, that'd be the end of my turn. Right. I'll see him. You're next. I want to use this opportunity to use Wild Shape to transform into an um, owl. Since um, Uberg is probably not watching, does this break my concentration though? Uh, I don't know actually. Um, I'm going to ask Valdir, Valdir, does this break my concentration? 
Uh, it, this wall shape? Yeah. Uh, it should say there if it does. Uh, it well, doesn't. Okay. Doesn't? Then Pretty sure. If it I... doesn't, then the last wasp on one HP will disappear. Uh, it does not. So you meant maintain concentration when you wall shape? Yes. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't. No. Okay, so you hear the flapping of huge wings suddenly behind you, Jaren. No. What? As you turn around, you see a giant owl in the place where Lawson seemed to be before. And then I want to fly up to behind the drake. And that's the end of my turn, as I will now delete all of the wasps. They vanish. What, what, why do they vanish? It stays. It stays? Yeah, yeah, we've been trying to say that for like three times to you. <laughs> you keep saying it disappears. Because you maintain concentration, so it does not disappear. Because I keep hearing Keith and say it doesn't, so you, do, you don't maintain yeah, concentration. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't disappear. It doesn't uh, break concentration. That's what yeah. you've been asking. Ah, uh, okay, then I misunderstood, sorry. Double negatives are evil. <laughs> uh, uh, the YHP wasp is still clinging to life. What does it do? It will fly behind the hunting drake and it oh, will start stinging. I met those saves. Um, this one actually doesn't make the save. It will take the plus 8 poison damage. Yep. And it's poison now, right? It's... wait, let me check that. I think the damage is just for this turn. Yes, just for this turn. Okay. The other effect, if it would reach zero, it would remain poisoned and paralyzed. Right. Yeah, you do maintain concentration on just double turn. Okay. That's good to know. I thought you didn't, but yeah, well. Alright, so Turin, there are two... badly beaten up dragons. <laughs> um... So the the guy with the, some projectile ranged weapon hasn't been shooting at us lately. No. Okay. You you would have expected that person to shoot you twice in as long as the fight has been going on, but nothing has been heard. Okay. Now uh, I move up uh, <laughs> there. Uh, the track with the hunter's mark looks pretty hurt, right? Yes, they both look completely then just done. A normal uh, shot and hunter's mark damage on the pit. Yeah, finishes him off. No trouble. Bonus action to change the uh, hunter's mark and then a normal bank again and hunter's mark damage. That also is enough to finish it off. Just two quick hours and. Uh... Right, uh, so we're done here. Uh, giant. Owl lotion, do you mind? Uh, Ubrook runs to... forward to attack the giant owl. Do you mind go checking? Oh my god. Uh, just fly away, please. All right. Check the, check the other we'll enemy. Oh, <laughs> uh, fly, fly oh, away. Are we still in combat, by the way, technically? We are still in combat, technically. Okay, now, yeah. right. And Ubrook, you're first, so roll your attack. <laughs> well, I, I just... Giant bloody bird appeared from nowhere, so yeah, I'm going to attack that. Playing a stupid character is quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Yeah. Anyone okay. feel free to yell out that, you know, no, stop, don't do it. I'm hearing it's, dead silence it, so far. It's your turn, so. Okay, yeah. I suppose that's true. And he's going to roll his next attack. <laughs> which fortunately is a Thank crit. God. And his final offhand. That hits. <laughs> and that kills Tao. You <laughs> Guys, I more. killed it! I killed it! Making it revert to me? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what? And as you kill the owl, you suddenly... As I take one point of damage. In front of you. Can't, can't you wear a name badge or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's really confusing! <laughs> mm. Right, I'll take off that line. Yeah, there goes that, there goes that plan. Yeah. When it comes to my turn or when going oh, yeah, this, I would like to start running after the uh, towards the bend, trying to see if I can still see that guy. 
I have to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, and I make that. Nice. Um, so, as for now, you killed all the assailants. Uh, turn, you're gonna run up um, a little bit, like a couple of 50 feet, and you do see around the band, but you don't spot anything. God damn it. Seems like whoever was shooting at you has vanished. Start looking for Taraxi immediately. Ubrook turns to right. Laosian and says, Um, sorry about that. It's uh, fine. It was stupid to me to go to your class anyways in that form. I thought you could just turn into a bear. I can turn into a bear, and an owl, and some other animals. Hmm. Good to know. Hey. So, Turin, uh, I think it's a survival check, it's in order. Yeah. Check it something, hang on. So, am I technically uh, tracking the trick or the kobold? If you're looking for track, the drake. Okay, then it's not with advantage. Okay, um, you do see the tracks leading towards the road that follows the river on the canyons. Right, uh, so they follow the road? Or what? Yep, they did follow the road. That Maybe looks 200 feet. Further ahead, you see the the canyon narrowing from where it's roughly now. Fifty, sixty feet wide. Um, it's narrowing down to around. Foot. Uh, was that all of it, or were you gonna did you cut off or what? Must be. That's it. Okay. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. having back at loss. Oh, okay. That explains. Yeah, I had thirty, now it's down to nineteen. I think I got the gist of it. Uh, the other's like, well, there's some tracks to follow for whatever was shooting at us uh, from here. Still don't know what it is. Everybody good to go? Right then, yep. let's go. I start following the uh, tracks. Can I collect up that javelin and then I'm going to follow? I'm going to follow and um, dispel the last okay. wasp. Good How's to have the... you back, Hooper, right. I guess. Uh, How's the smell of... I possibly had too much beer last night. You don't that say. cask is kind of amazing, though. <laughs> Find, found a nice fur work girl and had a happy little night. It's actually going to pull out the cask and drink some more beer directly from it. User in your channel timed out. I was afraid of that. User entered your channel. Okay. I'm back again, maybe. Welcome back. Good stuff. The able internet is really a blessing. Um <laughs> yeah, following the tracks and keeping uh yeah, for uh, waterfalls. I'm not gonna cut out too much. All right. So, when you reach, go. Oh well, travel up the two hundred more feet of the canyon. It starts to narrow down to oh, roughly thirty feet, and the the road stops there, and only the streams going through the canyon at this point. Not deep. It's maybe two three feet deep. So, you can move through it, 
with some difficulty, but you can move through it. And as you round a bend, you see another a waterfall trickle down, well, roughly 50 feet away from you, trickling down and feeding into this stream. Is this one bigger? This one is slightly bigger. But from your position, there's some overhangs in the canyon, so you can see from, but it's slightly bigger. Just a moment, guys. Let's check this. I go check it. You, you want to check the waterfall? Yeah. Okay, roll perception. How high are the cliffs, by the way? Uh, 200 feet, roughly. Okay. to 300 feet. 18. So, as you move up, you see a cobalt snout disappearing from one of the overhangs above. And you do hear some shouts and what you now know is Draconic, and shortly after, a few rocks. Uh, w w what do they uh, say? Because I speak Draconic. Oh no. I think somebody's about to disconnect. I think you're probably right. Yeah, I'm looking at this connection in info and the, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I think there is a curse uh, for DMs with uh, their connections. I think we have to revisit that uh, that wasp concentration thing. <laughs> <laughs> I made that with all drawn, damn it. <laughs> Brooke sits in the grass and idly makes some daisy chains, whilst nothing appears to be happening whatsoever. Yeah, time is frozen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can Obrook do that? I, I would think so. I'm gonna go with... Uh... Wouldn't making daisy chains be uh, dexterity based? Wouldn't yeah. it be intelligence based? He's been, he's been out in the wild, you know, a long time. He basically lives out in the wild, so he's had plenty of time to practice. Blood of hand. <laughs> it sounds like he's lived in a cow path for the last few years. I'm, 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 oh. I'm gonna claim I get advantage on that one. <laughs> Lots of practice. I want to see a bugbear wearing a daisy chain. <laughs> sure. Okay. Once he finishes it, puts it around his neck. Because, hey, you know, you can go around killing things, but it doesn't mean you can't look pretty at the same time. Whilst you're severing kobold heads. Are you not sure that Ubruk is a very feminine uh, bugbear? Well, no, but... You know, who's going to call him out on it? He's got a pair of battle axes and a short temper. It's like Jane Cobb. A man walks down the street in a hat like that. They'll, they'll know not to mess with him, <laughs> or whatever the quote was. Uh, yeah. Well, I can tell you now already. Uh, they said remove the rocks. Uh, say that again. Remove the rocks. Remove the rocks. Yeah. And the next thing you hear. Yes, crashing sound from above. A lot of rocks tumbling down in what appears to be a rock slide. It. Uh... Following the rock as a wall of water, the gentle waterfall has to turn to a rapid and massive wall of water, and the canyon is flooding. 
But since you know it is too early, you do have some time to prepare. Uh, I would like to try to get out of the way at least, if it's coming on top of me. It's definitely coming on top of you. Okay. So you're moving up Canyon again? So basically where you came from? Uh, what's the other option? Forward. Um, you see there, this, I don't know, maybe 300, 300 feet of the really confined space before it widens again. How big is this section of rocks that's um, coming down on us? I'm having a little bit of a time uh, uh, imagining this uh, landscape right now. Okay, let me draw again. Because I'm terribly good at drawing, everybody knows that. Actually, last time it helped there, so... Yeah, 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 I mean, just something and just... Which direction is which and so on, it's confusing sometimes. Is this a cross section? So, looking at the canyon, this would be the waterfall coming down. You guys standing here on the ground? And just if you would cut it in half, basically. Yeah, and then um, you push forward. It's still these narrow 30 feet, and if you go backwards, it widens a little bit again. Oh, I yeah, see, so, so we're at kind of a, quite a narrow point in the valley that then opens up again afterwards. Exactly, it's 200 300 feet in front. Yeah, and... uh, I mean, uh, quickly from the situation, like, uh, knowing the landscape beforehand, and uh, we are grouped together, I guess, or are we? Yes, this time you didn't bet. So, uh... With the, uh, I gotta be here from how far above the rocks are coming from. Um, so, like, just basically, how much time do we have to react to this? So, can we just uh, uh, shout out as a group, just like forward and get out of the way? The rocks, um, yeah, this side cut, uh, came from there. Ah, oh, fuck, wrong. So from up here. So, they. You might have two turns ahead before the rocks hit, but the rocks are not really the problem. You figure that the water, the masses of water that are slugging behind, will be far more trouble. Who's got yeah. the slowest? Uh, I, I shout at least uh, out of like, forward, run! Who's got the least amount of Wait movement? forward, Phoenix. Yeah, it's like for Phoenix. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. back, sorry. Well, I mean, I, I would suggest that everybody just, like, dashes forwards, basically. Yeah, that's what yeah. I shouted at least, mm -hmm. and I'm doing that. Yeah, same. Yep, same. Oh, if you're making a run for it. Alright, you managed to get in 100 feet before the crashing flood hits behind you. You hear the water sloshing around, filling the canyon more and more. And Can I case it is cast haste on myself and continue rolling? Can you put it up? Alright. So you suddenly see Geralt dashing away from all of you. Why is this forced? Is everybody else? Geralt under the rift of fire fell! Uprook looks thoughtful for a second, which is unusual for him, and says, Ha! Huh, be pretty useful if you could fly right now. Wouldn't it? And 
<laughs> Doesn't happen to um, notice that Lausian's right next to him. And, and when he says that, Lausian will spend his second point into wild shape and transforms into a giant eagle and flies away. Alright, do you fly... Uh, what, what's the wingspan of a giant eagle? I don't know, it's a large beast, I don't know. Oh, that's gonna be pretty damn big. Like 30 feet at least. <laughs> 30 feet? But no. The canyon is 30 feet wide. I mean, 30 feet is 10, uh, 10 meters. Oh yeah, then that sounds logical. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it is a large creature, so I mean, it's like, yeah. Would it fit? I'm sure you? you want to. As it's, it's, you will have a lot of more moving. And what what would be the wingspan of an owl, giant owl? Why don't you just uh, go go into something smaller? Find like an a fish. Find an owl, transform into yeah. a wasp and fly away. What about a fish? It has water. <laughs> <laughs> that would mean ha having the ability to transform into a fish. Uh, wasps you actually have fly, uh, swim speed. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'll I don't know why, but they do have yes. swim speed. Yes, I'll then transform into wow. a giant wasp. Alright. You could, so you could have girls. hatched your bats and gone for a flying fish, if such a thing were possible. <laughs> yeah, in the situation with, with canyons, it's very useful to take a fish. No, yeah. I, don't I mean, even up. better would be if we would uh, have something that could uh, burrow, so you could just go into the canyon and we just follow. <laughs> uh, then all the water would go there as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, it depends on the angle. You know, but what about fast? something that can carry people? People. Yeah, I would have jumped on top of the uh, uh, giant eagle if it would have fit. Anyway, yeah. sorry. Off the big. I mean, it can also transform into an elk if you want, if we would, would rather have that. So let me let me get this straight. We're in a canyon that's filling with water. Yes. Yep. Uh, Turin noticed really, really early. Before you were too much in, so you had time to prepare. And Gerald used it to haste himself. Lossian is still debating what to turn into. <laughs> right yeah. into <laughs> um, then I'd like to rip a patch off my uh, robe of useful items, and it'd be the robo patch. Oh, fancy! So yeah, um, do that and put it on the ground. A twelve feet long rowboat that uh, grows out of this small patch. Oh, a rowboat. I heard a robot. <laughs> a, a rowboat, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to climb into it and offer anyone how to um, transformed or run away. I'm a uh, lift. A brook kind of skids to a halt, turns around, and vaults over the side into it. I've checked, uh, Valu, and a giant eagle only has a wingspan of 20 feet. Be a tight fit still, but. That, that you could it. do if you want to. Then I'll still do the giant eagle, because... According to what? Um, I've heard the Forgotten Realms wiki. And from the th third and a half... Um... Wait, let me close that. Yeah, it's alright. I'm just asking. I'm curious. And this one, but this is three and a half. Anyway, I'd like to push the uh, the rowboat into the water, start rowing, whichever way we were we were going before. Well, presumably the water's kind of flowing out from the point where it's pouring down onto the valley floor, so we'd just be kind of getting pushed along anyway. Yep, the water is catching up to you, and you're being propelled forward. But now safely bobbing atop the waves. That was very handy of you. Ubrook quickly grabs the tiller like he knows what he's doing, even though there is very little chance that he actually does. 
um, since you're actually making a lot of speed this way, you start catching up to Geralt. Need a ride? Who hears a lot of water coming at him, and as you look around, there's suddenly a 12 feet rowboat coming your way. What? Uh, sure. Let's throw her hand and get him up. As he gets rolled up the water, I guess. <laughs> I want to, uh, so make want a to stand on. Oh, sorry. Say again, please. Make a strength check. But Which one? Oh, fuck. But just strength? Yes. Oh, that was a save. Oops. Right. Oh! Oh! Yes. That's By the work of both of you, you easily uh, easily pull him into the boats and you can, leave down the river. Can I stand on the bow, uh, uh, wind in the hair, and create a metal recomposition of row your boat? Please. <laughs> you can. <laughs> well, Brooks finally figured out what the tiller does and starts violently jerking it from side to side because clearly that, you know, it's to propel the boat, right? <laughs> I just turn around there. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, well, if you want, you can roll a performance. Oh, yes. Got like a horrible... I mean, if he's standing up on the bow and I'm violently jerking the tiller around, is that going to cause him some problems? Apparently not, as he gives a glorious meta rendition of Row Your Boat. And yeah, walks on that standing there. Just as he is playing himself into a crescendo, reaching the solo, uh, you shoot out of the canyon into a bigger area. Uh, the water starts trickling off and the boat scratches the ground and comes to a stop next to some rubble. And what you do see is roughly 100 feet in the air is hard to describe. It's cavern cobalts with wings that apparently awaited you coming out of uh, the canyon. But they do look surprised as they do see you in a boat and not just getting flushed out by the flood. And I would like to roll everybody to roll initiative once I got you to the right layer. Um, Wasp, I have still one question. Did I successfully transform into a giant eagle or not? <laughs> if that is what you choose to do after all, yes. you successfully transformed into a giant eagle and you're currently fly flapping over the boat roughly at the same height I'm, as... I'm really, I'm just enjoying this scene mentally of this boat kind of, you know, rushing along and yeah, got an electric guitar on the bow and a giant eagle oh, yeah. hovering behind it. Just, just, just a remark, yeah. just a remark, I still had haste up when they created the song. Oh. Power Metal was born. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, that's the way, and now I'm going to move you over, get the initiative tracker up, do that shit. Oh yeah, Lawson, you need to change yourself for an eagle, I think. Yep. Oh, I remember to use the stance as well. <laughs> Then I should oh. roll with initiative for the eagle, right? Uh, or my own initiative. Okay. No, I'll just use the eagle stats. Yeah. Um, what carries over from your stats was uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma, and I already put them with your wild shape stats. Oh, okay. Then it's good. So, so they're good. Oh, this is only better. Now I have higher dexterity, so that's good. Oh, Brooke, noticing the giant eagle. Kind of makes half a move to throw a javelin at it, and then you see this no. kind of dawning comprehension on his face, which is a very, very rare sight. And he sort of goes, Oh, puts the javelin back. 
Good up, Brook. Good up, Brook. <laughs> He's learning. Okay, I think I got everybody. Although this will be hilarious if if we get attacked by an actual giant bird at some point and Brook just assumes that it's last scene. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Lawson! Stop it! <laughs> Tempting. It would be even better than if Lassie was standing next to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, standing off there, apparently they have been waiting for you, but they expected you to come out in a far more distressed manner than you actually did. And uh, seeing Geralt standing there at the bow, still, still praying, <laughs> uh, the Cobalt commanders are going to lose them. Do, do they at least him. clap the end of his performance? Or are they rude and just start um, attacking? Well, the Cobalt Air Cavalry is flapping their wings, so one could argue they are clapping. <laughs> okay. So we have um, 8 and 16, and 18 and 10. Yeah. Where's the other one? Heads. Uh, up there. Is that the only one I can see? No. And what's with this one? That's a normal cobalt, drive. Right? Oh, yeah, well, let me quickly change that. Because it's supposed to be a proper cobalt. Yep. There we go. They are Garrett? Yeah, 18 head. 18 heads, uh, so 6 piercing damage. Coming your way, a lot of the crossbow bolts just clanking into the boats. boats Not even feeling it. <laughs> All right, Turin. Lots of flapping cobalt. Yeah. I uh, jump off the boat and I uh, shout that to uh, do the uh, big guys. Uh, like, do I know where the boats for cover? And. Uh, uh, da -da. I forgot to measure this distance. Yeah, uh, the first cobalt air curly put a uh, hunter's mark on him and then start shooting in sharpshooter and advantage. Right. Which. Hey, 23 as an. 28. 28. <laughs> As you pierce his one of his wings as well, and it starts not necessarily spiraling, but definitely having trouble to. Still up, I see. In the end. Uh, does it? Yeah, you shoot one down. And the uh, second one to the right of him. And. Uh, ooh! Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't get the Hunter's Mark, but I get the Dread uh, Ambusher, which is going to be because of the natural 20 2d8. Oh, maybe I don't do it like that. There you go. So, uh, 34. 34? Yeah. This one looks terribly hurt as well, but still fine. Best case. And as Wait, you. Um, the other one didn't die? The other one is dead, yeah. Okay, yeah, just didn't have the X on the book there. I'm confused. Oh. And since I don't have an action search anymore, I'll uh, just. I don't know, position myself so that the uh, boat can be like turned over for cover if needed. Because I have a bad feeling and hope that somebody does it. And end my turn. I think I think Ubrook would probably be a good person too, except I have a while to wait. But I I I'll do that for my action. Let me have the gush as well. Giant eagle. Would the giant eagle be able to you know turn over that boat? Mm, yes, but there are currently people inside of it. Yeah, that's true. So turning then... over might if some small troubles to them. True. Then the giant eagle will fly to the that guy and I will 
attack him. Uh, all right. Uh, 21 hits. As you dash across him with your talents. Leaving him standing at 4 HP. Okay, and uh, that's the end of my turn. Right. Yeah, Something we'll... is missing in this, in this song. Like, a proper end. Truly explosive end. Like, you know, a fireball. Force level. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, cast in the middle of that cavalry and the guys to the left. Uh, well, cavalry is up 100 feet in the air, so... Oh, then just for them. Just for them, okay. 20 feet radius? Yeah. But I think it's gonna take them more. Uh, can you cast it on there? Well, 120 feet. To... Yeah, but I think it's point on the ground. A what? What does the description say? Let me check. At the point you choose within range. Yeah, okay. Looks fine to me. Yeah. Let's see. Did I make that safe? No, they don't. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be 30, uh, 28 damage? Yep. Holy shit. So that just blasts all of the ones in radius for 28 damage. What yes. about the turned eagle? He, he was uh, out of range, I carefully guesstimated that. <laughs> yep. I mean, the giant eagle is cool, the giant explosion is cool. But a giant eagle flying in front of a giant explosion? I mean, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fitting that the eagle's name right now is Murica the Eagle. <laughs> uh, and this one oh. drops. Six fireball hits them all hard and as much as it hurts them, it also is devastating for the moral. Good. Uh, I wanna find my way to the stern of this boat. And hide, somehow. Right, so the hunting drake is just gonna stay still. So the rider can take aim. And the riding drake is gonna advance on you. Oh well, now I put them on top of each other. Smart move. This way. <laughs> yes. Should I call them to pick you up, uh, Valu? <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's the end of their turn. Now the cavalry air cavalry can finally make its move and what they're gonna do is what looks in a very military-like practice manner they're gonna do a strafing run above the boat are they all ca called Huey by any chance the air cavalry and does that provoke an opp attack of opportunity for me uh, yes you can take one attack on whichever you prefer I'll do that on the first one that passes beneath me, I suppose. Alright. And of course it's a natural one. America! Well, <laughs> Not the, enough oil. The firebolt still leaving traces on your retina. You just completely miss the kobolds. You forgot to put on your sunglasses when the giant firebolt exploded in front of you. Damn it, I knew I forgot Damn. something. Uh, actually, can you see that if I do this? Yep. Perfect. So, while they do their strafing run above you, they drop some kind of alchemical bombs, you would guess. And everybody that gets hit by them 
would need to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Just one or multiple? Um. Oh, sorry. I'll actually make two. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, so by the way, there's a in the left bar. There's uh, something called SFX. We're going to get explosions, actually. So oh, fancy. There it is. Saving throw. Oh, not with that one. That's damn it. Oh, explosion! Yeah, there's explosions. There's fire explosions. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Look, Tuan, it's artillery. What does this do to the boat, by the way? Oh. Sorry. Flashback. <laughs> the boat looks definitely worse for way afterwards, but since all of you rolled pretty well, gonna be. Where you gonna be? Let me roll this. How does I roll the same twice? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. So it's going to be 14. Oh, so da, 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 seven. Oh, seven fire damage each. As the rumbling in your ears settled. Yeah, Kauri is holding their positions just on the other side of you now. Oh, Rook, your turn. Is it possible for me to push Gauthak out the boat and then try and overturn it? Oh, he is pretty heavy, but uh, yeah, you can try. Okay, because I... Without any, you know, movement afterwards, I just basically want to do this. Okay. I mean, you could just ready an action and wait for him to get out first. <laughs> can I do that? Yes, you can. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, from a distance, yet again, a crack sounds, but this time. Actually, two in quick succession as uh, our giant eagle is gonna get shot at. Um, 24 and 11, that is. Um, 24 hits. Okay, that's 16 piercing damage as some metal. Propelled really fast, hits your wing, cutting deep. A question: If you're flying, trans you're transformed into something that's flying, and suddenly you're transformed back into yourself, and you're above the ground, does that does that do what I think it does? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that is also the reason why I have the ring of feather falling. Ah. <laughs> okay. We thought this through. Mm -hmm. We thought ahead this time. <laughs> so yeah, after these two. Yes, splitting cracks. Gothak, it's your turn. I'll um, I step out of the boat and help uh, Uber turn the boat over. Yes, that's that's what I'm gonna do now. Right. Put so, it this way and pretend it's turned over. Yep. Okay. What you mean? You cannot rotate that two D, uh, texture. Uh, no. Oh, Literally oh, unplayable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you're now in cover behind the boat. At least. Oh yeah, which way do you want to turn it? Would you want to be in cover from the air cavalry? Or from the sharpshooter? Could we not I mean, like, prop it up I'm... with some oars so it's kind of kind of partly up on one side? Yep. And giving us cover from one direction. But enough to actually sh like literally shelter underneath it. Could just turn it completely over and hide in it. Yeah, but then you cannot come out and shoot easily. Oh, well, I mean, there's even that pile of rocks there, you know, you could... I would say, like... <laughs> Trying to shoot yeah. with five angle, with the oars uh, uh, 
keeping it up. So then you have some some cover from straight up and from uh, north. Yeah, let's say we've done that. Yeah. All right, <laughs> good stuff. End of your turn. Uh, that's an action, right? Yeah, that'd be the end of my turn. Can I? Oh. Would I be able to move having held my thing to to turn the boat? It's around? only it's only an action that you can do after. Oh, right, then. so I couldn't then just move onto the boat. Okay. Oh, since you helped turning it, I guess you ended up below it. Okay. I just kind of want to be like there, basically. All right. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I helped, I'll be there as well. So, the Cobalt Commanders following Sniper's Sniper's lead going to shoot at the Giant Eagle. Um, 22, 16, 16, and 21. Holy shit. Uh, all hits? Um... Thirty thirty two damage. Thirty two damage then the ego would be would vanish. I have no idea how to do this right. Thirty two you said right? Thirty two yeah. So any left or damage will be done yes. to you. Yeah. That will be twenty two damage to me. Wow, the eagle does not have what? No. Not as much as I was expecting. As you turn into your normal form and start plummeting towards the ground. No, I, 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 I have the ring of feather falling. I oh. would be falling as a feather down to the ground. So you slowly... <laughs> so you're basically a nice, very stable, slowly descending target for anything that might <laughs> shoot at you. Yes, yes. But That's pretty much the thing. Good. Slowly and slightly. Do so by your landing. Durin, your turn. The eagle has just been shot out of the sky. The boat is turned over for cover. You're up. Um, just, I, I, just mentioned, I just thought, like, uh, if if he's really far up, or you could do, like, take out the ring, or, or ring, just fall a little bit, put it back, and just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, turn around and put... Uh, hang on. The one with the hunter's mark is dead already? Yeah, so... The uh, one with the hunter's mark is dead, yeah. Yeah, uh, put Hunter's Mark in the closest one, and uh, Sharpshooter. 22. Wait, 17? The 17 hits. Give me a second. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Uh, 22 shoots that one out of the sky, and as it drops to the ground, you, you have a small concussion as one of the bombs in his pack explodes as well. Oh, that's hurting no one. Careful, girl. Uh, shoot the next one. Hunt, uh, no, no, sharpshooter. Yeah, that one misses, I guess. Yeah, that one. I just paused him. Would I still be under the boat uh, here? Yeah. Yep, yeah, then I move there and hide under the boat. End of my turn. Right, Lossian, it's your turn. Um, do you know the Valus trick with taking off and putting the ring back on? Uh, would it be an action <laughs> to fall to the um, ground within this turn? I, I would say we could bargain this down to a bonus action. Then I would do that as my bonus action, yes. Alright. And it would also be probably all my movement, I suppose. I, th I, think, I think you should make a check to see how accurately you, you, you gauge the, the timing of taking the ring off and <laughs> how gently you make a landing. Yeah. What do you think, sleight of hand? But no, I... you make it safely to the ground and um, you have half your movement left. Half my movement left. Well, that's not that much. Alright, then I'll start moving to here. And I will cast... Ice knife on this riding drake. Right. And 
dexterity saving throw? Then if this hits, they take damage first, and then both he and his commander on top has to make a dexterity saving throw, which is a separate spell. Ah, okay. So does okay. it hit? It does hit. Take 8 damage. So... You see? 17? Both yes. Hit. They rolled pretty good. And then they take half the damage? Mm, they take no damage. No damage, okay. End of your turn? End of my turn, yes. And it's safely down to the ground and nearly into cover. How far up are the Hueys, by the way? 100 feet. Okay. Well, okay, well not being able to hear the thing about careful oh, all this explosion is just like boom 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 and sends another fireball just so low <laughs> just okay. so does well same damage and the rolls for the last one were a bit oh they don't make it 27 yeah you clearly <laughs> bump them out of the air Okay, and I walk away from the explosions. Not looking back, obviously. No, of course not. Can you be playing Star Spangled Banner as you're doing it? Yeah, wipe that from the air, tumble to the ground, and you hear some secondary explosions as they end up on the ground, and the other bombs they're carrying just go up from from the impact. And I'll find myself some cover as well. Right. And the Drake still steadying itself. Or is it actually? No, seeing the cavalry getting wiped out like this. It's gonna start to run away. Like last time. Not wanting to get caught at all. Okay, uh, then the riding drake's gonna. Yeah. Is it enough, actually? Yeah, it's enough. Okay, since everybody else took cover, they're going to close in on the fallen eagle. And gonna start going and biting your way. Okay, natural one. Oh, natural twenty. Uh, does eighteen hit? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be seventeen piercing damage coming your way. Seventeen. Okay. These things will have come close enough to the ground to be within arm's reach now, right? Oh, the drakes were on the ground all the time. Oh, right, okay, I thought was, they were flying uh, for some reason. The, the blue tokens were the ones flying. Okay. But they have been cut down by two fireballs exploding in, them, in their midst. Not a single one remaining so far. But yeah, Ubruk, your turn. The two just came up, pouncing at Lothian. Okay, can I... If I interspose myself into that... Spot between them, would that be attack of opportunity? Uh, no, just if you leave it. Okay. But also be aware that the kobolds can hit you that are mounted um, on top. So you will be effectively in between four enemies. And what about if I move there? Would that be flanking? Um, up there. That then you flanking. can flank. Okay, there. I'll move there then. All right. And I will attack the Drake to start with. Oh, um, I'm actually... I'm, well, first I'm going to rage. <laughs> Must remember that. Um, I'm, I've been moderately annoyed by all of the, you know... Every every yeah, time there was explosions and going bombs. off, and I was turning around to look, and then the explosions went off over there, and I missed all of them, and it was really annoying. <laughs> um... <laughs> I am actually going to reckless attack. So it'll be with advantage. 
Uh, you have advantage from flanking anyway. Oh, I do. So, yeah, is there any point to reckless attack right now? Probably not. Yeah. No, no, it isn't. No, okay, so let's not bother with reckless attack then. <laughs> I like how you went all, all the trouble asking, is this flanking, is this flanking? And they're like, I'm going to reckless <laughs> attack. Like, <laughs> the role playing is Ubrook a little bit too hard here. Mm -hmm. 21 hits, 11 slash damage as you cough up its sight. <laughs> 11 and 11, okay. Wow. Uh, 11 doesn't hit. The kobold is just intercepting your blow with his, with, with his short sword. And um, yeah, as you come back around, he deflects it again, protecting his trusty man. Okay. There were some really terrible rolls, but they could have been worse, I suppose. Right, that's, uh, that's my turn. Okay. So between your turns, two cracks sound again. Already in the distance. But uh, Turin, next to you, there are two impacts on the boat, chipping away some wood, but doing no harm to you. Gothic, your turn. Uh, I'd like to run up to the Riding Drake next to Lucian and attack. Hey, go for it. 27 minutes. Yeah. A good solid hit on the snout. It's definitely hurt now. 25 hits. 7. It's barely left standing. And is already sagging down to the ground. Not really keeping itself upright anymore. Okay. Uh, and then that'd be the end of my turn. Right. And this. Um Yeah, the one on the uh the right end right to the left is gonna use his crossbow attacks on Gothic. Because they don't like when you attack their pets. Um it's gonna be twenty and twenty four to hit. Uh they both hit. Okay, it's gonna be eighteen piercing damage. A close range thump into your into the cracks in your armor, and the other one is going to take a short sword and attack Ubrook. Also been trying to castle this pat. Um, seven doesn't hit. does eighteen hit? Yes. Okay, eighteen doesn't. Uh, nine piercing, half to four. So you're going to take four piercing damage as he retaliates against you. Okay. Hey, it's the end of their turn. Turin, you're up. I would like to peek around the boat and see if I can see the sniper, you know? Uh, yes, you can. It's 100 feet further down the canyon, but you still have a shot. Oh, the canyon ends, right? Oh, yeah. yeah I understand now. Yeah, it's, uh, you know. Yeah. You can pick. Either you can shoot the hunting drake or the rider. I would like to, first of all, cast an uh, Ensnaring Strike. Ooh, fancy. And then uh, actually try to do with that. Uh, normal attack, not with Sharpshooter. Yeah, that, uh, Drake or Rider? Uh, Drake, Drake. Drake, okay. Yeah, it does it anyway. So, uh, Strength saving throw? Yeah. 21. The DC 12? Yeah. Okay, it makes it. So it's not restrained, but it takes the damage. Yeah, although the DC is actually 15. I don't know why it says 12. Okay. But yeah, That's anyway, it. it succeeds anyway. It's it's a strong dragon, this one. Um, How much damage was this? 17? 17 in total, yeah. I sure the numbers are right. But low. Yeah, it's a 1d6 and it was not with sharpshooter, so... Ah, oh, okay. Alright. And I would like to uh, uh, take my next shot. Hang on, I'll just... Oh, the poor card. The order this actually happens in. Right. 
Right, yeah. Uh, just uh, shoot normally on the uh, rider. All right. And uh, does that hit? 22 does hit. In that case, I would like to use one of my arcane shot options to do uh, shadow arrow. Ah. Uh, wisdom save. It doesn't matter, it rolls all of them anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, nine does make it. Yes, so it's blinded until the my next turn. Yeah, and then I would like to uh go behind the cover again. All right, um, no, seen you up. I still two beasts in your face. Yeah, I want to take a disengage action to, yeah. Basically, run away. You want to hide below the boat? Well? Yes, yes. Okay. So I will move to here then. Right, Scout, it's your turn. Okay, um. Uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Gonna move about on there and quickly check, check my spell, but I want to cast a shatter. Oh, that is. Come on, I just clicked on it. Hello. Mm -hmm. Well, Hogan doesn't want to talk to me, so. Yeah, range is sixty feet, so I can get it in between them. Okay, so Constitution saves. Yep. DC is 16, yeah. Mm. Drakes make it, the kobolds don't. Okay, so the kobolds gonna take 14 each and the drakes 7. It makes one dead kobold and one badly hurt one. Nice. Hey, Ulfrog! Get them all! Give him an inspiration. Yeah, that's another shattering explosion. Echoes through the canyon. Oh, actually, it also kills one of the hunting drakes. Just sagging down, ears bleeding. Guess I softened up his ears with my song earlier. So, oh, I love my turn. Is there only one? Hunting Drake left alive? Uh, the Hunting Drake... Um, didn't you say both the Kobolds got? If you if you want, uh, roll a perception check. Me? Yes. Okay. Which is definitely... Oh, actually that's not too bad. You earlier saw um, the Hunting Drake running off towards the west. Um, where you think the cannon should come to? Oh, that's the one Tori's been shooting at. Okay, right. Right. Uh, yeah, it is the one Tori has been shooting at, but his longbow has an incredible range. How far are they from me at this point? From you? Two hundred feet. Two hundred. Okay, yeah. definitely out of javelin range then. Yes. Right. They're really making a run for it. But yeah, uh, we have one riding drake left, and that's gonna take his claw and bites at Gortek, who blooded his mate. Um, it's gonna be 19 and 10 to hit. Uh, 19 hits. Okay, 8 piercing damage coming your way. The claws shrieks over your arm, leaving it bleeding. Ulrik, your turn. That, that kobold next to me is alive still, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Be accurately, but still alive. 11 doesn't hit. 22 does. With the second swing, you easily finish him off. Okay, and then I will 
move to the other side of the drake and take my final attack. I'm going to guess 23 hits. Uh, 23 does hit, yeah. At least um, really, really bloodied, but still alive for now. Okay. Uh, uh, in between your turns... That's my turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, between your turns, nothing because blinded. Gothic. There's one challenger left. Uh, I'm just going to swing at the riding drake that attacked me. Yeah, with advantage. 19 hits. The last hit finishes it off, cracking the head open. Right, and as the fight dies down, you survived successfully the ambush and area raid from the kobolds. And I think it's a good time to take a small break. Can't hear you, Valley. <laughs> uh, how far is the uh, last go? By now? 300 feet away. Okay. Want to take a shot? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I have 600 uh, feet range, so. Go for it. I'll just keep. Uh, how many shots can I take before it gets out of range, basically? Uh, two, because then it goes. Well, you don't see this, but what's going to happen is that the terrain is going to lower again. Basically, the canyon comes to an end and it opens up into. The valley behind, and that's nope. lower. So you have two shots free. Uh, oh, two four. shots. Well, two yeah, was, yeah, two attacks. All on the Drake. All on the Drake. Okay. Uh, nineteen and seventeen do hit. So that's whoa, forty-two damage. Yep. Okay, as the drake is barely, basically limping at this point out of view into the valley beyond. Are you <sighs> playing artillery, Falu? Basically. <laughs> Firing at things very but, far away. But on away. the plus side, the trail they are going to leave by the blood should be easy to follow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was not part of the plan, actually. Injured. <sighs> Intro uh by guitar easier to follow. Are you also playing so also are you playing Bloodsick again? Or what? No wait, that's <laughs> something different. But I, I suppose Keith is no longer here, right Keithan? I am. And I sure agree. Keithan wants the extra movement speed if you're going towards target uh, damage targets then. Uh, and everyone left. Yay. Alright, so 10 minute break. Okay. <laughs> 